Hi, HCGers. HCG Berry Babe. Good news when I vlog every day. I um, hope it continues. Um, today I was down 1.5. Yesterday was a true 100 points day. Didn't need anything off Tier 2. Drank all my water. Um, didn't eat after 8 o'clock. Um, I was 165.9. And interesting, I rolled over this morning and could feel my hip bone. So when I said the bones are starting to pop out. Um, and one of the things, those of you that have been with me for a while know, that when I was at this point before and as I came down to my lowest, which was 153, and this will be the one, two, three, fourth time I've been down like in the 155s. Um, I freaked. I have never, ever, ever been that low in my life. And I got really hungry and I just didn't know how to handle it. And so I started eating. And then I didn't have to worry about it. And then lost back down, had one surgery, gained some. Lost back down, had the other surgery, gained some, now I'm down, coming down. The thing is that 155 feels familiar now. I'm not scared of it anymore. 155 feels right, and 165 feels fat. Except today I noticed that the arm, the skin on my forearms starting to get crepey. The skin on the back of my calves is starting to get crepey. My plastic surgeon had said he didn't want me any lower than 165. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I do know that I need to go below wherever I'm going to end up in order to come up. Um, because when I'm doing no or low carbs and then I start eating, I always put it on. Always, always, always. Um, so I don't know. I'm here today and I'm doing well. I'm doing the pellets four times a day and that's just really knocking my hunger out. It's been wonderful not to have the food thoughts. Um, it's been tricky to remember to eat what I need to eat. So that's good news. I've been wishing and praying for that. I was worrying about whether the pellets were really going to work for me because even though I was losing, I still was getting a lot of niggling cravings. And by upping the dosage, I think it's just like anything else. Even with the RX, um, HCG, some people do better with higher dose or a lower dose. And I think I just needed more. It may be that because of my malabsorption surgeries, I, even though I'm doing it sublingually, I don't absorb. I don't know. I know that if, when I have anesthesia for the dentist, I always take more. So maybe I just needed more HCG. So the graph is coming down. That's good news. And I, um, someone had asked about the points that Rilla and I talk about. And so I had said that I would talk about them in my vlog tonight. How this kind of got started was, I've talked about this a little bit. Um, Rilla did a vlog where she just was so frustrated because she's been trying to be on protocol for the last two years, which is a lot like me. And we do so much in other parts of our lives and it's like this is the one thing we just have a hard time getting a handle on and I just really was feeling she was a kindred spirit so I reached out to her and we decided to be round buddies now she is not currently on a round she will be starting around soon she'll be loading this weekend but we talked about what what our expectations were and how we wanted to be accountable to ourselves. But, you know, if I tell you I'm going to do something for you, you can bet it's going to get done. But if I tell myself I'm going to do something, I don't have the follow-through. Um, I'm very ADHD, and so if I don't want to do something, the energy to do it is just not there. And so by partnering up with Rilla and having some common ground, um... It's really been reinforcing for both of us because we're each following our own plan. We each set up our own points. And the points were my idea because I've buddied with people on other things before. And when one person starts to have a hard time, if there's not a common language, it's very hard to be firm. 
um, especially with someone like me who has real good rationale system going, well, I really needed to do that because blah, 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 blah. So um, I come from um, educational background, been a special ed teacher for many years. And um, when I work with my ADHD kids and for myself, it's good to have a list. It's good to know what the expectations are. So each of us sat down and made a list of what we felt we needed to do in order to do whatever we were doing part of our program successfully. I'm doing a P2 and she's doing um, sensible eating waiting to start around. And so for me, this is how I broke down my 100 points. I get five points if I watch a vlog, make a vlog, get on Facebook, log on Facebook. As long as I connect to the community in some way, I get that five points. If I take my supplements, which I must take, I get five points. If I drink all of my water, and my amount is 64 ounces, her amount is different, get 20 points. If I eat my food, and only the food, I'm, I'm very mop, um, I'm done, I've had bariatric surgery, and so my plan is totally bastardized from what Simeon's did, but it still works for me. Um, I can earn up to 50 points, and if I don't eat after 8 o'clock, I get 20 points. So if you add all those things up, that's 100 points. And if I get all my points, then I've had a quote-unquote perfect day. There's nothing I could have done to make my outcome any better. I can rest assured knowing that I did everything I could. Now, there are things that impact did you use lotions? Did you get enough sleep? You know, those kinds of things. Time of the month, which I don't have to deal with anymore, but um, there are those kinds of things that we really can't control. We can, I can go to bed and lay there in the dark, but I don't necessarily sleep. Um, so when it comes time to award the points, then it is up to me to decide how I did. And I divided my food into three tiers. Um, there are some foods that, if I'm not on HCG, um, are okay carbs for my surgery. I'm supposed to have whole grains. Um, to eat white flour or white sugar really isn't in my program, but I can have um, whole grain bread and popcorn and that sort of thing. Of course, you can't have that on HCG. But if I'm going to cheat, those would be things that would be lesser evils. Um, sense in a theme. So tier one are things that um, are totally my mop. If I eat off that and I watch my portions, then I get all the food points. If I drop to tier two, which for a P2 person doing simians might be where you're crossing over into the mop. You use coconut oil or MCT oil or you eat broccoli or Brussels sprouts when they're not on Simeon's protocol. So you're not exactly on Simeon's, but you're still within the range of what is very feasible. Or it could be if you're sensitive to oranges, um, even though Simeon's allows it, you might put an orange into your tier two um, foods and, and deduct some points when you get to the end. What the idea is to be able to go back and see if there's a correlation between how many points I had in a day and what the weight loss was. Um, so it's kind of a numbers game. And this is what it looks like. Um, Rilla and I are back and forth. And... Um, she's feeling really pulled by something that's not on her plan. And I said to her, e even though in terms of competition, you know, there's no real contest going on, but I said to her, hmm, well, so far I've got all my points. If you do eat that, then I'm going to win today. Along with that, we did a lot of talking about you know, why things are calling and what habits we've gotten into and that sort of thing. But just me being able to say to her, do you really want to not earn those points? 
let her step back and reframe her desire. So, um, for me, the 100 point system gives me a guideline. This not eating after 8 o'clock, and it was kind of funny tonight, I had gone to the grocery store and because um, it was like the last ad day and um, last day on the ad and uh, I was not going to make it home in time I had decided that I wanted to have a hamburger patty for my last eat of the day and and it was like 20 minutes to 8 and I was 15 minutes from home and so I called my husband and I said would you cook a hamburger for me please um, and I came through the door at like five minutes to, and he's all in a tizzy. And I said, "Oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna sweat it that close." Um, but I had been eating and cheating um, up into the eleven, twelve o'clock, and then I, and if I was asleep at three o'clock and I woke up, I would eat then. So. That is like, okay, do you want to give up points because you're going to eat? I have allowed myself, I have to have two supplemental protein powders in a day. So I've been mixing three, and I in, in two nights I've had one, um, like one at one in the morning and one at three. So if I wake up and I'm feeling needy, then I can have that. So this is, this is just, it's just a sheet. And I had it, I was working on it for something else. But... So when I print it, it's all um, blank on the back, and I can make notes, any kind of notes I want. But it has, at the top, I put the date at the top, and then it has what was today's weight, up or down, and then how much up or down, and how much is my total. Was it a P2, a P3, or a cheat day? What were my points yesterday? And then for my protein, and if um, Quest Bars are part of my program, so I have, I just, with the protein, I put in the times I have at the Quest Bar. Water, I have slots where I, um, for each of these things, I have slots, and I just put the time in that I do it. Um, and then if I eat any other food, it goes down here. And then there's more on the back. So, um... I write it down. I, I will probably get to the point where I won't have to write it down, but I will tell you, getting that water in is hard for me. I have little 10-ounce water bottles, and I refill them. But I mix my protein in those because um, I mix it up ahead of time. And um, I try. I, 64 ounces is my target, and so I know that I have to plug in 6 to 7 of these slots and it gets to be 2 o'clock, and I'm looking, and I've got only two slots full. It's like, you better get humping on your water, or you're not going to get all your points. And if I don't get all my points, then I won't have my maximum weight loss. So if you have any questions, feel free to private message me, and I'll walk you through it. Or if you want any help coming up with a 100-point plan for yourself, um, why I like it, it's, it's in writing, it keeps me accountable, and we've agreed that we're going to update it once a week. And I, it, I plan to eat on Thanksgiving. I'm going out on Thursday night, and I probably will do a mini cheat where I'll get, like, chicken fingers that are breaded and fried. Um, and you remember, because of my malabsorption, that wouldn't hit me as hard as it would hit somebody who's not had any alterations. So don't listen to me as far as what my food is, but I'm just telling you that I'm making plans. I usually order a lot more crap than that. But this is kind of what my um, compromise is going to be. So I don't know how much lower I want to go. I'm just going to take it one day at a time and see how I do. So I'm running close to my time. Bye. That's all for now.